a long, long time since Ullshot Town were looking forward to the end of the season with optimism, looking like they were going to be extending the season, whether it be an eliminator. I think even at this stage, an eliminator will be an excellent achievement considering the expectations at the start of the season, how they finished the last four or five years where they finished just outside or actually inside the relegation zone and, and had to rely on other teams. And yeah, the home form, it was one of the key things that Tommy Widrington was charged with improving this season and boy, has he done so. Brilliant stuff. That's Steve Gibbs, the former Aldershot Town media manager. The teams are out Aldershot in their home kit of red and blue striped shirts, red shorts and red socks. An older in orange shirts, blue shorts with an orange stripe down them and orange socks. Now, the shots will line up with just one change this afternoon. Uh, Roland Meniese comes back into the start in 11 for Kobe Rowe. Meniese back from his suspension. Rowe starts one. Van Stapperschurf in goal. Harfield and Monoga join Meniese in defence. Glover and Frost, the uh, wing-backs. O'Keefe and Tatek, the central midfielders. Stokes in the number 10 position. James Daly and Lauren Tolage up top. Aldershot Town have the kickoff. Stuart O'Keefe is going to take it, and they are kicking towards the East Bank in the first half. And uh, we are very, very close to kickoff here at the EBB. In the National League, we're underway. Aldershot Town seventh against Oldham Athletic fifth. And uh, well, I'm sure it's uh, on the Oldham Athletic bingo card, but of course a club with an extensive history uh, and one which includes time spent in the Premier League. They used a very compact, efficient, well-organised team. T Daly wins the header. Tolad sends it out to the left side to Glover, who takes the ball under control now, squares it. Oh, and it's touched just wide by James Daly, who still awaits his first shots goal. But he did so well at the start of the move, as did Tolad. Glover and acres of space, and he will have thought about cutting back on his right foot and shooting, but he sent the ball in, and Daly couldn't quite divert it to into the goals, slid in and slid it a couple of feet wide, and uh, here's Oldham playing it forward. That one doesn't work out between Dallas and Garner. Shots have snaffled it. Stokes has picked it up. He's just working his way out of the D now, threads it out to the right side to Tolage. He's working the right channel a lot more now that Daly's in the team than when Byron was. Spreads it across to Tetek. Tetek to Glover. Glover's got the overlap if he wants it. He sends the cross in, it's very deep. Headed up and over and tipped over his bar. A backwards header by an Oldham defender and eventually tipped over his bar by Matt Hudson. And ironically, Steve, that's the closest the shots have come. 31 minutes gone, nil-nil. Yeah, the Oldham defender was putting his fingers to his head saying, I didn't know where I was, I didn't know what I was doing. And in the end, it was a little bit closer than any Oldham player would have wanted or expected. But, yeah, a bonus corner for the shots. They could not have hoped for that because Ryan Glover's cross was overhit. A ball up towards Garner. It's well read by Tetek. Finds Stokes. Stokes holds up, turns one way and then looks to release Tetek, who releases Glover. And he's running to the edge of the penalty area now. A little hop, skip and a jump. Back onto his right foot, sends it in. Oh, what a goal! for James Daly, double fist pump from the manager, Tommy Widrington, all the good work from Glover, the shots player of the month, and no hesitation for James Daly, who rises unmarked and powers a header past Hudson. 37 minutes gone, Aldershot Town, one. Oldham Athletic, nil. What a really good comprehensive header from James Daly at the near post. Suddenly appeared from nowhere, certainly the Oldham defence didn't know where he was because there was no orange shirt anywhere near him. Uh, the crucial uh, contribu contributory factor to that. And I'm annoyed with myself. I didn't recognise the vastly experienced, familiar face of Gary Brabin, who Here is the Tranmere assistant, uh, the Oldham assistant manager. Is Dallas running on the inside left channel, looking to get in, squaring across, and it's poked wide at the far post. Glover positioned himself well. The Oldham player that made contact poked it wide. He just steadily slowed up. Tyler Frost didn't realise that and ploughed into the back of him and it was a free, unfortunately a free kick all day. But now... Here's Glover sending Tolad through. Is he offside? It's not been given. He's rounded the keeper, sent it in and it's going to be cleared off the line, is it? Followed up by Stokes, cleared up in the air and then tipped over the bar. 
by Hudson. Wow, you really needed to see that to believe it, listeners. As Tolledge rounded Hudson, you thought he's sure to score, but there wasn't enough on his shot. He was cleared up in the air. It might have bounced down and in. Hudson then slipped, couldn't get onto it. And uh, it was cleared up in the air, and when it came down, he tipped it behind. Asking no quarter, giving no quarter. The referee has probably let maybe a little bit too much go. Now, you, don't, you wonder if players are going to start taking liberties. That's exactly what does tend to happen when a referee tries to... Uh, uh, let a game flow like this. Good afternoon to Baz, Jill and Alfie watching the game in Sheffield. Come on the shots, here's a ball through the middle. And, uh, wow. I think that was a golden opportunity, It Steve. was, it was a heavy touch. He tried to take the ball down, trap it, and then he'd have had just a half volley to stroke it under Van Slapperschiff into the net. Well recovered and well positioned Ollie Harfield. Kaji wins the ball off the back of his head, didn't know a lot about it. Is Daly poking the ball into Tolledge. Oh, he side foots it at uh, Hudson, gets down to it. Golden opportunity for Tolledge to wrap this one up. Terrific save low down from Hudson. What a shot clear their lines. Ball up to Daly. Hold, bounces off him, holds it up nicely. Uh, Tolledge needs to stay on side here. He's just drifted off. Ball shot player Daly ends up in touch like himself. Plays it down the line. It's cleared away by an Oldham defender. One in the air by Kaji. He can only knock it down in the path of a... Uh, an olden player though, it's well won by O'Keefe, Tolledge is through in the middle, goes round his keeper, goes down, penalty to the shots, he turned the same way again, Tolledge, it's the yellow card for Hudson. The shots have a penalty here, 73 minutes gone, O'Keefe won the ball brilliantly, set Tolledge through clear, Tolledge rounded the keeper Hudson, Hudson brought him down, Hudson's been shown yellow, and the Swiss striker is about to take his first penalty for the shots in a competitive match. Going to take it left-footed at the high street end. Lauren Tolladz back off the foot of the post, back out to Frost, who tries a follow-up shot, and that goes just wide. And the foot of the post has denied Tolladz his 23rd goal of the season. And it remains Aldershot Town 1, Oldham nil from many East. And he feeds Josh Stokes. Frost wants the ball down the right side. He's got the ball down the right side. He's into the penalty area. He's going back on his right foot, shoots, yeah. scores! Tyler Frost has won it for the shots. Buries the shot low, takes the celebrations in front of the North Stand. And the shots have not just held on. They've doubled their lead, and they've done it again against the top seven side. Aldershot Town 2, Oldham Athletic nil. Finally, the game is won. Oh, hang on, Steve, they're coming over to us. Sorry, Steve. Throw in to Oldham and stay with us by all means for these last few seconds here at the EBB where the shots are 2-0 up and looking good for fifth place. They're going to leapfrog. Gates head and they're going to leapfrog their opponents, Oldham Athletic, who have just lost on the road in the National League for the first time since November. What a win for Tommy Widrington's men. 37th minute lead from James Daly, glancing in a Ryan Glover cross. They had the chance to double that on 74 minutes when Lauren Tolledge was brought down by Hudson but thumped his penalty against the foot of the post. And just as Aldershot Town fans wondered if they'd hold on, they went and doubled their lead. Tyler Frost on the uh, mark inside the penalty area on 90 plus six. It's all finished now. The shots are up to fifth with the good news from North East Hampshire. The final score, Aldershot Town two, George. Oldham Athletic nil.